firstly, congratulations to everyone that's been selected. It's always uh, a special treat to be named as an All Black, and particularly the, the new guys are so far, um, Maddie, uh, Tim and Jack, uh, and their families. Uh, I'm sure that uh, today will be a special day for them. We've got three major aims for the tour. One is to play some attractive rugby, obviously winning is part of that, but also making sure that we continue to um, establish the processes and re-establish the processes of how we go about doing that rather than just looking at the outcomes. Uh, the opportunity to again expose a young group uh, to a different style of rugby, um, different pressures of touring in the UK is another major aim. So when we get back we've got a deeper pool of, of players uh, come next year for uh, selection. Oh, he's a very good finisher, he's got pace, he's good in the air, he uh, can play wing or fullback, uh, and he's got a sense of maturity about him that um, I think will fit in very well with what we're trying to do at the moment. Now, Matty's had an interesting uh, football career, uh, taking in both codes, and um, yeah, he's, he's done well coming from the Stormers after a lot of injuries. I know they didn't want him to, to go, they rated him very highly. Uh, but over the last couple of years, he's just grown and grown and um, you know, he's become very consistent. Well, the opportunity of this tour, um, you know, the Barbarians game and the, and the second French game, uh, just gives us an opportunity to play someone like him. We need, we need four hookers and he's the obvious young up-and-comer and, -comer and um, gives him a, rather than being an apprentice, he, he, uh, he gets to <coughs> tour and play. He's pretty special, so uh, we'll see where he goes. Just do what we do with every new All Black. We'll make sure that he's ready to go when he goes and, and how much he gets will depend on how ready he is. And he's, He seems to be a pretty mature young man. Playing well at, at uh, Mitre 10 uh, level and he's done well in the under 20. So he's got an opportunity now to spend some time with uh, three good hookers and, um, and learn from them and, and he'll get a little bit of game time. So uh, the future is probably where his um, his career will be, but uh, right now we'll, we'll get to know him and uh, that'll be important. Well, he's dominating. He dominates when he carries. He, everything he does, he's, he does really, really well and stands out. So uh, that, that's not normal for a 20-year-old. So when you see non-normal behaviour, which is positive, um, it's not too hard to reward it. Yeah, to be really honest about that, um, if, if we were really clear on who the next halfback after that would be, we probably wouldn't have, but we're not. And he is a good player. Um, you know, he, he's a standout All Black. I think he's been very unlucky to have competed in the same era as Aaron Smith and TJ. He would have played a lot more Test matches. Um, there's not a lot between those three. He's contracted until the end of it, and our job is to pick the right team, uh, the best team we can for New Zealand and, and the All Blacks, and that's what we've done. No, no, it's not the Lions, it's Wales, so it's a different, it's a, you know, each, each test's got to be taken on, well each game has got to be taken on its own merits and, and recorded the respect that it deserves and you know, every time you pull on the All Black jersey there's, a, there's an opportunity to, to um, enhance what's gone on before and you know, our next opportunity is the Bar Bars, we didn't have a great game against Australia and there's a lot of things we've got to fix up, so... That'll be our focus, and then after the Barbar's game, we'll look at how we went there and, and continue to try and get better. We've got a big squad of people, and uh, they'll need to be managed properly, and uh, it's going to be a real challenge, but something we're looking forward to.